the Milky Way galaxy, our celestial home, is unimaginably immense. 100,000 light years across, 1,000 light years deep, and it may contain as many as 200 billion stars. But even more amazing is the fact that there may be at least 100 billion other galaxies out there. Is all this simply more than the human brain can comprehend? Welcome to Space School. When we gaze into the night sky, every single star we see is in the Milky Way galaxy. Its name comes from the ancient Greeks who dubbed the white streak across the heavens a river of milk, a sparkling trail thought to be spilt by the gods. Not surprisingly, it was a Greek astronomer and philosopher who finally solved the mystery of this odd formation. Democritus, for the first time in recorded history in the fourth century BC, suggested that the Milky Way was actually billions of distant stars. It was a revolutionary concept and one that would not be proven until nearly 2,000 years later when Galileo trained his telescope onto this strange white band crossing the sky. The Milky Way, like all galaxies, is a complex system of stars, planets, clouds of gas, and other matter, all bound together by gravity. Galaxies can have as few as 10 million stars, or as many as a trillion. They are often classified by their shape. Elliptical, spiral, even a few stranger types called peculiar. Our galaxy is a barred spiral galaxy, several spiraling arms coiled around a central elongated bulge, 10,000 light years thick. Light year, the distance light travels in a year, or 5,878,499,812,499 miles. The Sun and our solar system are estimated to be 26,000 light years from the center of the Milky Way. We are but a tiny speck located in an outer arm of the spiral called the Orion Arm. It's those spirals that we see as streaks through the sky. Like everything else in the galaxy, we are orbiting the center, moving at a rate of 155 miles every second. But even at that incredibly high speed, it will take us nearly 250 million years to complete just one orbit. Scientists estimate the age of our galaxy to be around 13.6 billion years old, give or take 800 million years. That means the Milky Way is almost as old as the universe itself and was under construction almost immediately following the Big Bang. Although it can't be seen or detected, dark matter makes up 90% of most galaxies. Even though scientists can only observe our galaxy from the inside using radio telescopes, satellite imagery, and some very complex physics, they now have a pretty good idea what a journey through the Milky Way might be like. A traveler from the outer reaches of space would first reach the halo, a vast but sparsely populated outer edge. This region is home to some of the Milky Way's most ancient stars. Further inward are the spiral disks, a series of arms where most of the galaxy's stars reside, including the Sun, the solar system, even us. To get to the center of the Milky Way, starting from Earth, would mean heading for the constellation Sagittarius and then continuing on. Finally, our intrepid traveler would reach the center, a terrifying destination. Everything in our galaxy orbits a supersized black hole, a place with matter so dense and gravity so strong that not even light can escape. This black hole at the center of the Milky Way is estimated to contain as much matter as two million suns. Researchers theorize that as the Milky Way moves through space, at a speed estimated to be somewhere between 80 and 600 miles per second, it's still growing, swallowing up smaller galaxies as well as wayward stars and clouds of gas, remnants of galaxies long past. Right now a galaxy called Sagittarius Dwarf is orbiting the Milky Way. Our galaxy's gravity is stretching it into an irregular shape. It's estimated that Sagittarius Dwarf, one thousandth the size of the Milky Way, will be consumed by our own galaxy in 750 million years. Even the giant Andromeda galaxy is heading our way at nearly 80 miles per second. It's expected to collide with the Milky Way and create a giant new elliptical galaxy. Fortunately for us, that won't happen for at least two and a half billion years. Somewhere in the Milky Way, about six new stars form every year. So far for the human race, exploring the Milky Way galaxy by traveling through it has been impossible. But that doesn't mean we can't take a look around. NASA's 2009 Kepler mission has an audacious objective. To use an orbiting space telescope with the most advanced equipment ever built 
to search for other Earth-like planets. The Milky Way. We know its stars number in the billions, but with advances in satellite and imaging technology, scientists are convinced that more than just stars are out there, maybe other solar systems like ours. They hope to prove that our galaxy is more than just fascinating and dynamic. It may be teeming with life as well. This is Space School signing off. Class dismissed. <laughs>